Good morning, everyone. Today we have Ian Lesser with us here in Elcano Royal Institute, the Vice President of German Marshall Fund of the United States. Hi, Ian. Thank you very much for coming. Very good to be with you, Ilka. Thank you very much. We have uh, two very short but tough questions for you. The first one is, is the transatlantic divide too wide to close? Mm. Well, my short answer to that is no. <laughs> it isn't too wide to close. Uh, there have always been disagreements on policy matters across the Atlantic, sometimes very, very pronounced ones. We're in a very difficult moment. There's no question about that. Uh, the Trump administration has taken a very pointed view of, of many things that, uh, that put us on different sides of the issue, whether it's uh, climate or Iran or NATO or many, many other things. Um, but I would say that, you know, the United States is more than just any particular administration. It's a very big system. Uh, and there are lots of examples of Europeans and Americans doing things just as they have been. Um, it's a very deep relationship. It's a very broad relationship. Uh, I think we'll get over these differences. We'll have to see in 2020. What, what will come next? And uh, as, a, as a think tanker or as a, as a representative of, a, of an American think tank in Brussels, what do you think about strategic autonomy? Hmm. Well, there's always been this sort of... Uh, interest in Europe, in different capitals, in, in something more independent, more assertive, more capable for Europe. I mean, uh, de Gaulle made this point, others have made this point. Sure. I mean, there's no question that the kind of messages that have been coming from Washington recently uh, that seem to make the U.S. engagement in Europe uh, contingent somehow, one of the reactions has been to, uh, to reinforce this idea of strategic autonomy. Europe doing more for itself, being more capable. You know, there was a time when much of the U.S. foreign policy establishment thought that was a good thing. A more capable Europe was in American interests. Uh, that's not necessarily where the Trump administration is on this, but we also don't really know where this strategic autonomy argument is going to go. It's not going to be so easy for Europe to develop these cap capabilities That's to deal certain. with Russia and other things. So, I mean, it could be anything from a more kind of competent European core within NATO to something that it really begins to look very independent. We'll have to see. Actually, there in th these are interesting times and interesting times for transatlantic relations as well. So we as analysts will be observing very closely. Thank you very much for coming today and thank you very much for your comments. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you.